Hello dear all, in this tutorial we are going to create a registration system and we are going to learn how to insert form data in MySQL server using PHP. We are going to create this registration system in three steps. In step 1, we are going to create the HTML form to collect user data. This is how our form looks like. And in step 2, we are going to create a database and table to store the user data. And in step 3, we are going to write the PHP script for database connectivity and we are going to perform various database operations. So without wasting much of time, let's start our tutorial. So we need to open our jam control panel if you haven't installed this jam control panel till now i request you to install it first then you need to start apache and mysql now we need to open a text editor here i am going to use sublime text 3 you can use any text editor of your choice either notepad or notepad plus plus after opening the text editor we need to create a new file and need to save this newly created file inside the jam folder you will find this jam folder inside the c drive and you need to select this jam folder then you need to select the stdocs folder and you need to create a folder inside the stdocs and you need to save all html and php file inside that folder here i am going to save this file as registration.html so in this registration.html file we are going to create our form where we are going to create our form and this form is used to collect the user data so i request you to do the coding along with me so that you can get the better idea to run a code First we need to write the local host then the folder name and then we need to select the particular file that we want to run. Now I am going to declare a DIB. Inside this DIB I am going to declare a form. So as you all know form is always declared using form tag and inside this form tag we need to write the different elements of form. Here I am going to define two element that is label that is used to display the message on our browser and the input type text that is used to collect the user name and now i am going to write css style for our input type text to write the css first we need to type the input then the type equals to text so this is how we can declare a css for particular input type now i am going to declare the width as 100 portion padding as 12 px and 8 px respectively now save the file and run it again here i did a small mistake i need to type forgot to type this semicolon so this is how i have set the css for that input type text now i am going to set the margin as 8 px and border as solid 1 px and i am going to set the color as green so this is how you can declare css for particular tag now i am going to declare uh, another css class called container and here i am going to give the margin left and margin right 100 px respectively so that this container so that the so that we can arrange the space between the content and container i am going to call this container class inside the div so this is how we can create the space between container and content now we are going to create few more fields in our form and while creating the fields or any input type you need to give the unique name because we need to use this name in name to send the data to our server so we need to give the name for each input type is unique 
and we don't need to repeat that name if we repeat that name then the system generate the error while saving or while sending the form to the server so we need to give the name of each input type unique as possible now i am going to change the background color of a body so to change the background color of a body i am going to declare a background class inside this background class i am going to write the background image attribute and inside this background image attribute we need to use the url of that image so i have saved that image inside the jam folder stdocs and inside assignment and inside the assignment folder i have created the image folder and inside the image folder i have downloaded the image called background and we need to see the properties or the extension of that image so i so this image has the extension gpg so this is how we can give the source of image and set the background image now i am going to call that background class to the body tag so this is how we can save the background image to any div or any tag now i am going to declare this select here i am going to write the options for semester for selecting semester so here i am going to display the message select semester and i am going to give the going to give four options semester one semester two semester three and semester four from where user can select their semester so this is how we can clear this select and little bit of styling we need to do so that our code look little visible so now we need to give the css for select also don't forget to pour, put the name to each attribute so that we can use it later so i am going to create another select class and i am going to copy the attribute of input type and i am going to paste inside this select class and now i am going to set call that class inside the select tag so this is how we can give the styling to the particular tag now i am going to declare another button or another input type that is button and i am going to save the name as submit and value as submit so this is the button and we are going to give the styling so to give this styling i am going to copy the input type text css and going to paste below and i am going to change the attribute so this is how we can set the css for input type submit so now i am going to change the background color as green so this is how we can change the background color of a button now i am going to give the color as white so this is the color which is which is used in the text so i am going to align this to the center of our web page I'm going to remove this center tag because it does not look good in that page. So this is how we have designed our form. Now in form we need to give the attribute. The mainly form has two attributes. One is action and another is method. Here we use the post method and action is the attribute where we need to write the file name. So the file name is, is the file where we want to send the form data so here we want to send this form data to the registration.php file so we need to create a file called registration.php file and need to save inside the folder where we have saved all our files and projects so this is how we can create a file and this registration file is the file where we are going to send our form data so in this registration form we are going to send the form data and from this registration form we are going to perform all our database operation in our next video so
that's all for today's tutorial in this tutorial we have simply designed the form and in next tutorial we are going to design or we are going to write the script for inserting the forms data into the mysql so